And we're back now with Sunday House Call with the Doctors. More on the Zika virus. And questions about whether quarantining Zika patients is a good idea. And you know, with spring coming, you know what that means. A lot more mosquitoes are going to start buzzing around our backyard. So, how do we protect ourselves? Dr. Siegel has just been, you know, alarmed over West Nile virus over the past few years. Now we've got to worry about Zika. What do we do? Well, first of all, Zika is a very mild virus. And as we said, 80% of the time, no symptoms at all. 20% of the time, you have mild flu like symptoms. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever to quarantine anybody with this because 80% you don't even know they have it. And also, it's spread by mosquitoes almost the entire time. So quarantining would be a huge waste of resources. What we need to do. We have a vaccine that's about two to three years away. We've got to accelerate work on that. The NIH is working that. And Eric, we've got to get rid of these mosquitoes. They reproduce in water the size of a bottle cap. If we use more insecticide, more larvicide, and we get rid of still water, we have it in the southern United States, and we have a related mosquito up the East Coast. We've got to get rid of these mosquitoes. We've got to get rid of them in Brazil as well. That, that will, will get rid of this disease if we get rid of the carrier. Does all, uh, you know, how they go out and, 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 and deal with mosquitoes, uh, public authorities do that in the standing water, in the swamps, in the wetland areas, and, and, and that sort of thing. Will that take care of this? Yes, Eric, this is not going to be a huge problem in the U.S. Okay. So people will not. Should, should, will not be okay. a huge problem here because we have air conditionings. We're going to be indoor. And this is like mostly in very poor neighborhoods in South America where there's no air conditioning. People are out there. There's river, there's stagnant water, and there's mosquitoes all the time. If you use repellents, long sleeves, if you cover yourself, if you're going to be outdoor and use these bed nets, etc., everything that we've recommended to protect yourself against mosquitoes, most of the time this will not be a problem. We have about four months or so to prepare ourselves to make sure that this is not going to be a major issue in U.S. The big problem is that we have travelers, and Olympics is coming up. So Olympics in 2016 is going to be global travels. Everyone is going to, to Brazil, yes. they may get infected and bring mm. it back. And there are case reports of sexual STDs as a result of this. Nobody should worry about this, but if you've been in those areas, if you're a male, you've been in those areas, and you've been bitten, you have symptoms, and you come back, you need to use condoms. And the incubation period for this is about two to three weeks. And if you are a woman and you want to be pregnant or you're pregnant, you should avoid going to those areas because you're putting yourself and your child at risk. How do we find out if there's a problem? You can get a blood test. You can go to your gynecologist. They use ultrasounds to look at the size of the head, which is going to be smaller in this case, and something called amniocentesis. They can get the fluid and find out if there's really a problem. I think the symptoms are very mild. I don't think this is going to be. Now, for Ebola, we overreacted, and it was absolutely the right thing to do because you could get it from sweat, from urine, from semen, from other things. This is not the case. And as long as you control mosquitoes, we're going to be okay. But if you take the fluid from a woman's amniotic sac, right. all right, if, if she has it, then what? You, you can't. Well, then that's a very tough decision, and that's a discussion with the family, whether you're going to continue with having the birth or not. That's a family discussion that they need to decide because, you know, these kids that now, two, two out of 10,000 kids may have microcephaly as a result of alcohol use, drug use, or genetics. But if you happen to have this as a result of uh, this virus, and you're going to have a child with microcephaly, where they're going to have mental retardation, hearing loss, uh, cognitive issues, it's a lifetime disaster for this kid, and you have to decide whether you want to continue it's, with so birth or not. So quarantining, it's please it's answer that for us, Dr. What? Siegel, if it's necessary to quarantine. No, I said already, it's not necessary not to necessary. quarantine. Back to the microcephaly issue, it's not yet determined what the risk is. That's what they're studying in Brazil right now. It's not proven, this connection. It's an associated finding, which means they're finding the Zika virus in some uh, babies with microcephaly. They've got to figure out more whether it's a cause and effect, whether it's the Zika that's causing it. In the meantime, we have to protect pregnant women. I agree with David about that. The other thing I and want... you agree with David that it is not, it is not a major threat here in our country? Except for travelers with pregnant women traveling. And I'll, I'll make a point to underline that. There's 50 to 100 million cases of dengue fever every year riding on that same mosquito. And we've been worried forever about dengue taking root here. It hasn't. 
Zika probably won't either. Yeah, it won't take root here in the United States because we don't have the same breeding grounds for these mosquitoes. We should still get rid of these mosquitoes. But not only that. And we should still get rid of them down in Brazil as well. The well, key is to get rid of them at the source because people want to travel to South America and they want to travel to the Caribbean and pregnant women want to travel. I agree with the travel advisory this time around. There, I think it's wise for pregnant women not to be <laughs> traveling to these areas. There are three million pregnancies in Brazil and about 4,000 of these cases. Those numbers are relatively small. That's right. It's better for people not to panic. This woman who went to Punta Cana, it's a beautiful place. You protect yourself. I happen to like that. But if you're pregnant, don't go. And if you're a businessman and you go there, protect yourself. When you come back, you can always get tested if you think you've been bitten by mosquitoes. Can you answer yes or no? If a mosquito has it, can that mosquito give it to me if it bites me? If the mosquito has it and you would get it, yes, of course, you can okay. get it. Okay. If the, but if the mosquito beats the guy yes. and it comes in right now, nobody knows the answer, including NIH and CDC. They don't know if the man has it and he has sexual activity, whether that virus is going to be in urine or semen or blood. The key is rapid there testing. There the key is yes. rapid testing because we can actually tell. If you, you don't get it within a week of being bitten by that mosquito, you're likely not going to get it. Pregnant women get tested for this. If they're negative, they don't have to worry. We're going to have more information coming in the weeks ahead about what the actual risk is. Okay, I think we're going to be okay when here. We, okay.